Does battery swapping make sense for electric vehicles? You know, you're driving your electric car, you're running out of charge, you drive into a swap station and replace the empty battery by a full one. Wonderful, recharged. Well, that happens only in China, right? Tesla has tried that, but they gave up on it, so it doesn't make sense. Swapping is the most sustainable solution and the only way to go forward. No, it's absolute nonsense for electric vehicles. Okay, let's look at some facts because there are some recent announcements that at least change my personal opinion about battery swapping a lot. Hi everybody, I am Electrified Veronica and today we're talking about battery swapping. So originally, traditionally, battery swapping means that you replace the entire battery pack, so this huge thing that weighs several hundred kilograms in your car, by a new one, a charged one, when it's empty. So this happens in so-called battery swap stations. You drive in there with your car. The battery is kind of mechanically lowered through a lift and then replaced by a charged one. Let's look at it from the perspective of an electric vehicle owner. You can look at a battery swapping station as a complementary solution to your charging. So what does this mean? You can still charge overnight by plugging it in and you can still go to charging stations, be this a level two charger or a fast charger, it either takes you maybe 20 minutes or a couple hours. Compared to a traditional way of charging, a battery swap station is definitely a very fast solution to charge your battery. Now who is doing battery swapping? Battery swapping seems to be a very convenient solution for smaller scale applications like for example electric scooters or motorcycles. So these are sizes where you as a person you can actually grab the batteries and replace them by a charged one. But what about these massive batteries in electric vehicles? So just as an example the 85 kilowatt hour battery in a Tesla weighs around 540 44 kilogram. This is 26% of the vehicle net weight. In 2007, Shai Agassi with the company A Better Place started battery swapping in California for the first time, but the company was not successful. In 2013, Tesla investigated the concept of battery swapping and they showed that they could could replace the whole battery pack in 1 minute 40 seconds. It's interesting that Tesla actually didn't pursue this concept but instead then invested into the supercharger infrastructure. Tesla's latest developments where you can see that they are using the cell to vehicle, so cell to body approach where they integrate the cells directly into the frame of the car, the battery swapping is kind of impossible now. The first company that is really successful with battery swapping for electric vehicles is NIO in China. They have opened their first battery swapping station in 2018 and today they have 700 battery swap stations running and the first one in Europe in Norway opened just recently. Okay, so just to summarize a little Bit. Battery swapping seems to be very convenient for smaller scale applications, but opinions about applying this concept to electric vehicles are really diverse and sometimes I'm involved in very emotional discussions. Before we talk about the latest and greatest announcement of CATL and their battery swap station, I want to talk a little bit about the challenges of battery swapping and why many people are kind of skeptical towards this solution for electric vehicles. The first challenge is that there is no standardization of batteries in electric vehicles. If you want to swap a battery, you have to replace it by the same one, right? So you can just go ahead and replace it by a different one. Right now, every major OEM, every car maker, and also every startup that looks into electric vehicles, they all have their own battery design, their own battery shape, and this even varies from model to model. What would this mean? mean? It would mean that every Ford, every GM, every Tesla, every company would need to have kind of their own battery swap station or you have this kind of general swap station where you have batteries from each kind. But that's very complex. The battery is their selling point. It's their differentiator from competition and it's also 30% of the vehicle net cost. So definitely it's a very important component and I don't see standardization happening here. 
we can't even agree on the same charging port and the same charging solution. So I do not think that batteries will be standardized in any near future. The second challenge with battery swapping is definitely the needed infrastructure and also the overall amount of batteries is definitely bigger if we change over to swapping because you will always need a certain amount of batteries that are waiting for you there which are fully charged. This goes kind of against my personal thought concept because for me going electric has to mean that we are more efficient, that we are more sustainable and that we kind of reduce the number of vehicles or reduce the number of batteries and also the material we need for these batteries. Now we have talked a little bit about the challenges and now I want to introduce you to the recent announcement of CATL because that really changed my personal view, my personal opinion about battery swapping. So CATL is a Chinese company and they are one of the world's largest battery manufacturers. They are producing battery cells as well as packs which they sell to car manufacturers. Now they are the first battery manufacturer that announced a battery swapping concept and they have a very innovative business model behind it as well as a very innovative technical concept. So a couple days ago they introduced their battery swap station where again you as a driver you drive in there and then your battery is replaced by a charged one. But now there is one interesting difference to what we have seen so far. The concept is modular. So it is not the traditional way of replacing the entire pack in a car. No, you can pick and choose what you need at that time. For me, this concept changes really the whole game of battery swapping and it really shows some very, very interesting opportunities. The first opportunity is the modular concept. I would call it advanced battery swapping. It's almost like for a traditional car, you're choosing the size of your gas tank. If I'm just doing my daily driving, a little bit of shopping here and there, I can go with the small smallest version and I would just use one module. But if I am planning a trip to Michigan to visit Don's stepmom, this would be several hours of drive, seven hours that we want to do in one day, then maybe I want to choose the three modules option that gives me 600 kilometer range. The second opportunity is battery as a service. In a battery as a service model, you as an electric vehicle driver, you actually don't own your battery. You own your car, but you maybe rent or lease your battery. Now combined with the modular battery swapping, this is really interesting. So first of all, the electric vehicle cost in the beginning will be much lower. We said that the battery price is 30% of the net cost of a vehicle. So if you just buy the car without the battery, this will be much less expensive. And then you just rent the portion of capacity that you need for your driving style. Depending on how much you drive and how far you drive, you can rent different modules and you can pay accordingly. Third opportunity is that this modular concept actually allows a reduction of the overall amount of batteries. So right now, every Tesla driver drives around with an almost 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. This is much oversized for most of the drivers because you just don't need this capacity. You're driving around with this big, huge, expensive thing, but you actually don't need it. So overall, if we go with the battery swapping and also with the modular concept, you just use what you really need and this will lower the amount of batteries that we need overall. The fourth opportunity, which I personally like a lot with this modular concept, is that it allows much easier the reuse and recycling of batteries. Think about, again, the Tesla cell to vehicle approach, where the cells are really integrated into the vehicle this will be very, very hard to reuse these batteries in, for example, an energy storage system in a second life or even the recycling. Really, this huge thing will be very hard to break apart for recyclers in the first place. If we have this modular concept from the very beginning, it's way easier to apply that in a second life and even the recycling. Just to summarize this a little bit, I really like this modular battery swapping concept. I used to think 
think that battery swapping might not be the right thing, but I was thinking about really replacing the entire pack and this would also lead to more batteries than we actually need. But if it is designed in this modular way, I think it can be really a powerful solution. Also in terms of reusability or first life, second life and recycling, I think it is much more convenient. Standardization and modularization will really help building a circular economy and a sustainable economy. Also with the vehicle owner not being the owner of the battery, I think business models around battery warranty will become much easier. It's much easier to handle battery warranty, battery aging and the loss of capacity in the business model of battery as a service. So this is my conclusion for today and I might change my mind again if the facts change in the future. I'm always very open to discuss and understand and, and also adapt my my opinion if just the, the facts are changing. I would also like to hear about your opinion so you can definitely leave some comments in the comment section. I really like and enjoy reading your comments and exchanging with you and I'm looking forward to the next video.